And yes, as you can see today, we are locked in because it is freezing. Can you believe that? That is one of the engine bolts. Just looks like new. Distilled vinegar. Three weeks. Welcome back to Johnny's XJ. When I was a young boy, a school teacher changed my life forever. When he brought it to school, a moped engine and put it into the workshop vice and then started it up with a piece of rope and the smell and the sound changed my life forever I tried it because I didn't believe it I've seen a video on YouTube no that don't work you see videos on YouTube don't you like cooking foil Get rid of your rusty chrome with cooking foil, tin foil. Does it work? No. Get rid of your rust off your metal with distilled vinegar, white vinegar, 39p a bottle. Does it work? Yes. Dissolving your rusty metal parts. Dissolving the rust off it. I suppose it is devolved. dissolving your metal as well, isn't it? Well, that is one of the metal brackets. It's been in there for over a week. It's one of the engine brackets. Not too bad, does it, compared to what it was? What else have we got in there? Not some bolts. Washers, put everything in there. Looks like fishing, isn't it? Wow. Get that for a double brand new bolt. Brand new when it's cleaned up. Very nice. They've been in there for a few days. It's been in there for a couple of weeks. And this is one of the parts I've just taken out. If you remember my crash bar brackets, where one of the bolts got stuck inside. So I yanked it off and broke one of the holes on the other part of this. You know, my crash board. And that is what the vinegar has done to the rust. Completely gone. So now I've just got to try and get this bolt out. My idea is just a ball spanner. Stick it on the side and twist. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's going. It's getting a bit tight, but it's going. Is it useful to have a vice? And there we have it.
part of the crash ball bracket. Bit of a clean up and it's ready for paint. Look if I'm going to paint them black again or silver. Probably use that all black. I don't know. Cross that bridge when we get to it. And these are the other pipe brackets, clamps. Edda bright, that I can't even say it. You know what they are. I got this from Lidl's. And it is good stuff for cleaning stuff like that. Just give it a good clean in this and it's ready for paint. And that looks pretty good, doesn't it? If you go back to the videos and look at my brackets when I took them off, they were scabby as a cat. Scabby as a cat? Yeah, something like that. What else we got in the vinegar? Yes, my dog legs. Scabby cats and dog legs, eh? Oh, look at that already. Tell you what, it's a good job we ain't got smelly tube. Bloody stinks. Looking good, Nassau. Don't know if you can see that, but you can see the craters where the Worcester's built up. But I don't think that's lost any integrity, do you? I'll leave that in the bath for a bit longer. if you can quite pick that up but you know how rusty those bolts were well, this is one of them what I'm thinking of doing is heating them up and dipping them in oil making them black so they don't rust that's what I'll do next Yes, I gave my car a good clean out the other day because the scrap man is fetching it 160 quid because my water pump has gone. And I can't be bothered to fix it. I know I could fix it, but uh, I took all the rocket covers off and checked the timing belt and everything. And my back was absolutely killing me. Leaning over cars, I just cannot do anymore. So I don't really need two cars, but the wife's got a car, I've got a car, so we decided we're going to scrap it. So I cleaned it all out, and I found this inside. And I haven't got a clue what it is. So if any of you know out there know what this is, please comment. got some sort of a point on it that don't do anything some sort of spring loaded mechanism well like that I don't know might be something nasty like a uh, slaughter tool <laughs> slaughter tool I don't know don't know what it is anybody know what it is Please drop me a comment. I'll take this opportunity to try and explain about my uh, music. I haven't recorded any music. I haven't played my guitar for over 10 years or more. Yeah, due to neck and uh, spinal injuries. 
you know, like pain down my arms and stuff, so you can't really play a guitar. But I've uh, just started to try and get back into it slowly. I uh, just need to get my fingers stronger and uh, get my timing back. And uh, finally got uh, bought a cheap Windows XP PC and got my Cubases back on it. <laughs> because I'm not going to buy the new Cubases because it was hard enough trying to learn the first one. So anyway, this is the music I recorded last night. vinegar for about four weeks I've cleaned them up a bit with the toothbrush and they have come up pretty good and when you give them a quick wire brush they look like that and already they're going rusty again so I'm going to take them from that and turn them into that. By eating them up and dipping them in the old engine oil. And then they won't rust. Let's get on with it.
equipment doing things like this and using plastic containers putting red hot bolts into plastic containers do not press them on the bottom all this will happen and then you've got a nice big mess to clean up still holding it on the bottom so I hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like share comment and I'll uh, see you again soon. Mucky Walker.